first question they'll ask is um so what are you selling and i'm like uh isn't it obvious seriously let's get to the money i'm on pt dot as hello joyful riders welcome back to my channel in case you're wondering where we're riding to we're riding to the top <laughs> I just really want to thank everyone that has been supporting my channel. I really appreciate y'all. And if this is your first time on here, feel free to join the joyride by subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell. Today is going to be very interesting because we'll be talking about something delicate. Now before you say anything, please watch the entire video. And I don't mean skip, jump, fast forward and then go to the comment section. I mean please watch everything and understand the video before you comment. Please and thank you. All right, riders, fasten your seat belts because we're taking off. You feel? Okay. Wait a minute till the storm comes down. I've noticed and observed when people talk about small business owners or upcoming entrepreneurs, indie artists are often not mentioned. And for those who don't know, I believe everyone knows, but just in case you don't know, indie artists basically mean independent artists or independent musicians. And if you think I'm not making sense, feel free to try it out yourself. Like when you're in a room filled with small business owners, like upcoming entrepreneurs, and everyone is just basically sharing and talking about how being a small business owner is not easy, all the challenges you know it has. And then if you're a musician in their midst and you're like, you say something like, oh, I know, right, it can be so challenging. You see some eyes turn and look at you. And the first question they'll ask is, um, so what are you selling? And I'm like, uh, isn't it obvious? Seriously? Let me make it clear. You do not have to be selling a t-shirt or a mug to be a small business owner or to be an entrepreneur as a musician. For example, the record labels, they're businesses, they're a company. Like when you're taking an artist, they don't look at how like amazing that artist is or how talented the artist is of course they check that but especially these days if a record label wants to get you they're gonna look at how many followers you have the reason they're checking all that is because all they see when they look at you is dollar signs like money 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 like money on their mind if you're signed to a record label 98% of the time you don't really have creative freedom because they're not thinking about oh, what you're passionate about or this message you're trying to pass you're thinking about okay this is the image we created for you this is what is going to appeal to your fans so you've got to sing the song it doesn't align with your vision so what it's just like working your nine to five job and you don't like everything the company stands for like you can't change it like they're paying you to do your job to do your job just the way the record label is a business if you're a musician who is singing independently like you're not signed to any record label you're working for yourself we'll get to that part later but for now I just want to say the fact you're an independent musician automatically makes you an entrepreneur automatically makes you a small business owner whether you take responsibility or not you are Wait a minute till the storm comes down. If you're a musician watching this and you're looking at me like, um, what is this girl talking about? Wake up! Seriously, you need to start treating your music like the business that it is. This of course is not for everyone because there's some people that do music as a passion project. Like they don't really want to make music as a career. It's your hobby, so to speak. So if you're in that category, then feel free to ignore what I'm saying. But for others, like the Mojo Bulletin said, the difference between those independent musicians who are thriving and the ones who are not is one significant quality. The ability to perceive their music career as a business and operate from that perspective. In short, it's the ability to operate as an entrepreneur. What's the definition of an entrepreneur? It's a person who sets up a business or businesses taking on financial risk in the hope of making profits. Now that is very self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go deep into that. Like when a musician decides to be an independent artist, like these days, like yeah and besides getting a record deal is not easy so but being an independent musician is a risk giving young thousands and thousands of dollars 
investing into this career that you're not sure if it's gonna happen is a risk a risk you're taking financially in hopes of making profit just like any other small business owner or like any other entrepreneur you have to take control of your own destiny by making the decision to operate as a business and refusing to perceive making good money from your art as selling out you're not selling out treating your music like the business that it is does not mean you love it any less does not mean your your reason for doing music is just money only it's just you gotta eat you gotta pay the bills and honestly doing music full-time and working a nine-to-five job full-time like and you want to have a personal life have family raise kids pay bills like come on it is near impossible so it's okay to love music so much be so passionate you the reason you're singing is, is just you have this message you want to share with the world and you also want to make money from that like that is completely fine don't get greedy though but it's fine Utilizing business tools such as spreadsheets, financial forecasting, marketing strategies, and career planning is a cornerstone of taking your career from hobby to professional occupation. Unleash your inner entrepreneur and make things happen. Wait a minute till the storm comes down. So the people who still think you have to be selling a t-shirt or a shoe in order to become a small business owner or in order to classify yourself as an entrepreneur, I'll try my best to make this very simple for you. As a musician, the songs we record are what we sell by streaming. Now this is very easy. You pay for your Spotify monthly subscription, your Apple Music monthly whatever, and your iTunes like you can buy music from on there. So like you using your service they are the ones paying us you're paying them they're paying us and you basically buy our products by how much you listen to our songs how many of you listen to our songs we invest into the songs hoping to make money from it's like any business world and making a good song is super expensive in fact the term expensive is an understatement like if you're a musician or your producer watching this like you understand I'm even scared to tell you guys how much it costs to make one song those of us who sell t-shirts um, jewelry or other stuffs we do that as add-ons the first thing we're selling to you guys is our songs and then we sell other stuff as add-ons because the streaming money doesn't come immediately like it really takes its time to come especially if you're an upcoming musician I don't want to go into the details of how many listeners we have to get in order for us to receive a penny or a dollar like it's a lot so we invest into what people call merch to sell to you guys by the way please buy our songs by listening to it you don't even have to like the genre just put your phone on repeat reduce the volume and play it while you sleep like you can do that twice a week and you'll be helping us um, I'm just joking guys <laughs> don't mind me anyway my songs is in the description box below you can go check it out on spotify on apple music is on every single pl platform and what i have right now is cover songs i'll be releasing my debut single very soon <coughs> so please stay tuned follow me on instagram follow me on twitter i still see many independent artists who don't treat their music like the business that it is since you're not signed to a record label you have to do all the administrative stuff and all the boring stuff in order for you to succeed like you i wish all i have to do is just sing record songs and write but i have to do the administrative stuff and that can be really intense and challenging almost makes me wish i was signed to a record label right now like <laughs> please come and take me away because it is really difficult to do every every single thing by yourself but you have to do the boring stuff in order for you to be successful i want to tell you guys about an online course called savvy musician academy it's run by a musician called leah this online course is super amazing and it has lots of information now if you're skeptical about purchasing the course at the moment feel free to check out her podcast on spotify and on the podcast app it's completely free and you get to get the best knowledge out there about being an independent artist and the tools you need to be successful i personally have listened to almost all her podcasts and i'm currently taking some of her courses and guys 
guys like it's up to you i'm gonna put the link in the description box below so you can check it out yourself as an independent artist you're a business owner so it's up to you to decide if you be a business that grows or if you be a business that plateaus Music is a business. Being a musician signed to a record label means you're working for your company, kind of like your 9 to 5. Being an independent artist means you're working for yourself, so therefore you're an entrepreneur. If you're not aware of how great you can be and the potential you have, you're just like a gold or a diamond that's covered in lots of dirt, waiting for someone to dig and clean it all up. So now that you know you're an entrepreneur as an indie artist, take the necessary steps to educate yourself on how to grow your business, that is your music career. If you stayed up to this point, please comment a strength emoji in the comment section down below so I know you stayed till the end. And if you did, I am truly grateful that you stayed because you guys are helping me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So, gracias. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Please like this video if you do and dislike it if you don't. But if you could leave a reason why in the comment section down below, I would really appreciate that because that will help me improve my video for you guys. Until next week, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Alright, bye guys. I love y'all. I see